What is up, YouTube? It's once again your boy Robski here. It is December 27, 2018. I'm just getting over a very good Christmas, unfortunately. Um, one of my little brothers was not able to make it. It was the middle one, but uh, still love him anyway. So um, if you're watching this, uh, DK, I love you. God bless you. Um, there's a lot been going on, like I always say. Um, I'm currently en route to Boise, Idaho um, from Lewis to Idaho. So, um, things are great. My life's great. I had a great, like I said, I had a great Christmas. Um, I'm doing yet another book review. I'm very, very excited about this because this is one of my favorite characters. If you guys haven't looked this guy up, you are seriously missing out. Now, let me just give you a background about myself. Um, I have very minimal military experience, but the experience I did get, um, it was all right. You know, I, I did some, you know, I went down to basic training. I shot firearms. I didn't, I haven't done anything, you know, really hardcore in the military, but this guy was an actual Navy SEAL and that's kind of dramatic. But what's more impressive about this guy is what he did after the SEALs. Okay. His name's David Goggins and he's one of my personal heroes. This is one of my top 10 all time guys. I would die to meet. Okay. This guy, Oh, he just gets me and, and I'm trying to do what he does. Okay. But anyways, this book is called Living with a Seal, okay? And it's by uh, Jesse Itzler, who is another guy that after reading this, I want to really go meet really bad. He has um, stock. He's a primary guy for Zico Company. That's the East Coast thing here. I live in the West. Um, but he also owns part of the Atlanta Hawks, I believe. So he was a rapper, and he's just kind of a renaissance guy, Jesse Itzler here. Um, basically he saw David Goggins run in a bad water marathon and he, or some marathon, I don't know if it was bad water, but, uh, just Jesse Itzler calls up Goggins and asks him to come live with him 30 days and train him. Okay. Now, now Jesse Itzler was already a marathon guy, but he wants to get better. This is what I like about these two individuals is they're, they're both Renaissance guys and they're all about discipline and they're all about getting better. They have two exact opposite personalities, but they fit like they're they, they fit so well together. Like Goggins and Itzler, we have a white. This is how funny it is, and and this is why like you know this is what the left doesn't understand is you know not putting people in boxes. Okay, so first of all, the story is good right here because typically most Navy SEALs are white. Typically. Most rappers are black. This has been reversed. Okay, so we have a white rapper with a black Navy SEAL. And the black Navy SEAL is training the white rapper how to get better. And they do crazy stuff like um, go into a pool um, when it's below freezing in Connecticut and freeze. Okay, so not only are they running miles upon miles, they're doing two days, they're doing three day workouts. Okay. And you get inside this Jesse Isler's, you know, his his wife and his kid. But he ran. I mean, you get you get the insight on Goggins as well. Okay. Now, Goggins has a lot of great YouTube stuff. Okay, Joe Rogan interviews him. Um, Goggins is a personal hero because I relate to this guy. Okay, I was David Goggins a couple years ago. I was six foot one, three hundred pound football powerlifting type, but yet I wasn't happy. And the reason why I wasn't happy is because I wasn't suffering. So when I started doing intermittent fasting, I lost a bunch of weight and I feel great. Okay. And I'm like Goggins. In fact, my mind is starting to become like Goggins. Goggins talks about the joy of suffering. Okay. And, and that's like the irony. It's not, look, I personally, I'm trying to make a bunch of money to get stuff paid off. But I don't want money. I want accomplishment. I want achievement, just like Goggins. In order to get achievement, you have to suffer. You need to suffer, okay? This is what this book talks about, is suffering. The best people suffer, and it's a blessing, just like fasting. It's a blessing. If you do not suffer, you do not get better. I don't care who you are. And Jesse Itzler saw that. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm doing good, but I'm coasting. He's like, yeah, you know, I got millions of dollars, but I still need to suffer. 
So just getting the fundamentals of the book, you know, comes in about 250 pages, whatever. Has a few pictures of him out in the blizzard getting trained by Goggins. Um, you know, this kind of cool picture with Jesse Isler's son and, and Goggins, okay? Um, and again, so it goes through 30 days of what Goggins did to Itzler, okay? And they do some crazy, crazy shit. But um, what I challenge anybody listening to this video is I want you to turn off the video and do something that makes you uncomfortable. Go into an ice-cold shower. Go start bear crawling, okay? Because Jesse Itzler and David Goggins wasn't afraid of what people would think of them. They did crazy stuff like running through Central Park with a 50-pound weighted vest and doing push-ups in business meetings. And you know what? They didn't care. All these people in these houses, they bought this mortgage. They bought these houses they can't afford. Driving trucks can't afford. You know why? Because they're scared. They're hiding. Okay? This book makes me not want to hide and tell the absolute truth. Okay? So anyways... Um, it wasn't the best autobiography. Like it wasn't as groundbreaking, I thought, but it was great stuff because I got to access these two men's thought processes, and I, I love both of them. And both of these characters, they 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 complement each other. They're like they're like total opposite characters, total opposite personalities, but yet they work. And they had a one goal. They have. Even though they're opposites physically and, and character-wise, they still have one goal. And that was to get better. That was to improve their life, even though they're both successful. Okay? Jesse Itzler got millions of dollars. David Goggins, minimalist. And Jesse Itzler talked about how he admired Goggins and envied Goggins, was jealous of Goggins, because Goggins didn't really need much. Jesse Itzler has all stuff that makes you miserable. So, guys, I really do think that you should pick up this book for self-help because another thing that doesn't matter is the, um, you know, David Goggins doesn't care that he was a SEAL or whatever, okay? He cares about suffering, okay? You don't need a fancy title to be a badass. You need to improve and suffer and get better. So... You guys need to check this book out. Other than that, um, our side is getting soft. Okay, check out Clay Travis. I used to admire LeBron James. I cannot stand this imbecile. Um, he says stuff that is just totally irrational, irrelevant. NFL players are not slaves. The NFL is tougher than the NBA. Okay, LeBron was coddling baby. Even though he has a single mother, I don't give a damn. When he was 17, 18, he was coddled and babied by the NBA. He never had to work a 12-hour-a-day job like the rest of us. He doesn't know shit. Do not listen to this fucking imbecile. He doesn't know what it's like to live in the real world. Okay? Now, once again, he's a genetic freak, admired for his basketball talent. But again, do not listen to people. Don't listen to these other A-lister celebrities that don't know what it's like to work that job either. Okay? Do what's best for you. But read this book because Goggins does know what's best for you. Rob out.